Hi guys, welcome back. This is Aaron from Paint Those Piggies and this is a ratchet version of Weekly Mannies. That is the name I decided to give for this video, which is a series of what I wear on my nails during the week. So that was one of your guys' suggestions. So Weekly Mannies is what we're going to call this series and this is the ratchet version of this this week because obviously the lighting is weird. It's dark out, which I never film when it's dark out, but today was like a terrible day, but I needed to put this video up, so I decided I better film before I shower. I still have my work clothes on. I still have my work hair going on. My makeup's been on for 12 hours now, so yeah. <laughs> today was not a good day. I've been to the doctor today. It's just like what else could go wrong today. By the way, everything is fine. I did go to the doctor because I was treated for a sinus infection and it has returned, but they won't retreat it. I have to go to the ear, nose, and throat doctor now, so I'm a little bit perturbed, but anyways, that's where I was at. Anyways, that's where I was at, so if I'm looking a little rough, because I'm feeling a little rough. <laughs> so I wanted to do my weekly manis, of course, and I couldn't find one of the polishes I used, but I will insert pictures of it, of course. So last Thursday, I kind of did my video early last week. So last Thursday, I actually had on OPI's Yank My Doodle. I had on OPI's Yank My Doodle, and I don't remember if I included it in last week's video. I also didn't check. I was just like, let's throw this video together. So I don't know if I put it in there, but that's what I was wearing last Thursday. And it actually really surprised me. It was from the OPI Washington DC collection from last year. And it's like a terracotta color. And I thought I would hate it. But once I put it on my nails, I freaking loved it. I didn't even want to take it off. That's how much I loved it. And even if I love a polish, I'm like, okay, switch your polish every night because that's what I like to do. Like that's my deep stressor but I didn't want to take it off it totally surprised me it's kind of like a quintessential like fall burnt kind of ready a little bit of orange in there I loved it so much so that was what I wore last Thursday and Last Friday I tried out another one of my indie polishes and this is one I got from PolishCon and this is Different Dimension Utopia and this was the kind of multi-chrome I was looking for. It's like green, blue, and purple and this was so cool you guys. I have two different photos on my Instagram of it which is at Paint Those Piggies and I freaking loved this. It was so cool. It has almost like a jungle green base to it, which you wouldn't expect looking at it in the bottle. I thought it would be either blue or purple, but it's got like a jungle green kind of like cool toned green base to it. And it does shift to purple, blue, and almost like a greeny gold kind of color. It is super cool. I just kept looking at this on my nails like while I was driving, while I was at work. Like I just kept shifting my nails around to see the different colors of it. This is a really cool polish. So after that I totally switched gears and I couldn't decide what to wear and then this polish popped into my mind and this is OPI's Sweet Caramel Sunday. This was from the California Dreaming Collection which is from summer of this year and I did swatch this color but I never wore it. It's almost like a new penny kind of color. It is copper and it is metallic but it's like a little bit lighter than copper. It's not like got that really orange tone to it. It's like a pale copper in my mind. And when I put this on and wore it, I was just like, I'm never taking this off. And I wore it for three days. So I wore it um, part of Friday and then Saturday and Sunday. And finally on Sunday, I took it off. But I was obsessed with this. And it was weird because in that collection, I really liked the pinks and the corals. But I didn't give this color much thought, but once I wore it, it's kind of almost like a really cool fall metallic to me. And I'll insert a picture of like it against the corn and I, I did pull over on my way to work so I could take a picture of my nails against the corn with the sun rising, which is weird, but it just has this kind of golden color to it. And that's what this reminded me of. It's a really cool fall color. Like I almost 
want to re-put it on again because I really enjoyed this color. Again, that is OPI Sweet Caramel Sunday. So then after that, again, I completely switched gears and I did find this at TJ Maxx. I don't know if I'm going to do a haul on those polishes, but I found quite a few polishes and I did find the OPI Iceland mini set, which is kind of weird because this is the current collection, but it was at my TJ Maxx. So I bought it. I had bought, I think, five colors from that collection and I was still looking at others. So this had three in there that I hadn't tried before. It had Reykjavik has all the hot spots, Aurora Borealis, Less is Norse, which I have in the full bottle, and Susie and the Arctic Fox. And so the three other colors I really wanted to try. I tried um, Aurora Borealis. I think I wore that on Monday of this week. And while it is a nice, like, mauve rose color, I don't consider it necessarily a berry, but it's just totally not my color, so I'm glad that I didn't end up picking up a full bottle of it. I mean, I got a lot of comments that it was really pretty and, oh, the shade is really nice, but it is totally not my color. I believe it's similar to Zoya's Kate. I'll have to look that up, but I remember de-stashing that polish just because it's almost like a rose color, and for some reason, I'm just not digging it. But it had a great formula, but... Something about it I just didn't like, and that is from the Iceland collection from this year. I feel like this week was just like, I went in a completely different direction every day. So after the berry color that I didn't like, I did this color, and I found this at TJ Maxx this weekend. It just kind of spoke to me, and... This is Essie's Running in Heels, and I cannot tell you how much I loved this color. It's still like in the 80s here, which is pretty hot for this time in Illinois, but it's still warm, and so I just saw this like bright, vibrant pink and went right to it. And as soon as I brought it home, I was like, oh crap, I have a polish like this. Thankfully, I don't. I thought it reminded me of Zoya's Lola, which is one of my favorite Zoya's. I discovered it this year. And that color is more of like a cool toned pink base with a shift in it. And this one is the warm tone version. So this is definitely like a hot Barbie pink. It doesn't dry matte though for how bright it is but it has a lavender flash to it and that's what kind of got me. I could see that lavender flash in the bottle and I was like, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I'm a big fan of pinks, Barbie pinks. Yes, I will wear them, but I thought this was really cool. I have no idea when this is from, a collection it's from, but I thought it was really cool. I And then the day after that, I kept on running in heels and I decided to do like a girly ghost manicure. I don't know. I was just looking at fall nails on Pinterest and I was like, I'm going to draw ghosts on these even though I had hot pink nails on. So I'll insert a picture. And so I used... Um, OPI's My Boyfriend Scales Walls for the ghosts and Essie's Licorice for the black, which is like my favorite black. And I used Zoya's Alicia for the hollow like silver polish. And I did get a request on Instagram to do a tutorial, a tutorial, to do a tutorial on these nails. So if you guys want to see that, definitely let me know. I'll probably do it in different colors just so it's not the exact same, but um, I can definitely do that. So I wore that for a day. And, th and then today I have on what my husband describes as a fox orange. I have mentioned before that he's obsessed with foxes. So I put this on and he's like, that is the color of a fox, which it is. We have foxes in our yard sometimes, but it is. And this is OPI's It's a Piazza Cake from the Venice collection. I've had this in my collection for a while and I don't know if I've ever worn it. If I have, it's just been one time. So here it is on my nails and it's confession time. I did have acrylic nails on before just because of my job and I know like people get really upset for some reason about that. Like they still looked like my nails, they just were thicker for my job, but since having moved jobs and I don't 
throw that many packages anymore or sort as much mail or have as physical of a job. I did take my acrylics off last night. So these are my <laughs> real nails. They look almost exactly like my acrylic nails. I did manage to salvage them. Confession, <laughs> I did have them on. And I do have a little bit of damage under this. I did do two layers of base coat, but I'm back to my natural nails now. I know that makes some people happy for some reason, but these are my real nails now. So this is my first natural nail mani of the week. And I thought it was such a good fall color. It's just so like orangey and like pumpkin spice and a cream, which is my favorite finish ever. So this is my first natural nail manicure, although my nails look exactly the same as they did before. But I figured if I'd be doing like swatching videos and tutorials, it'd be better to have natural nails. So there's that. <laughs> So I let you guys know my big secret, but whatever. I have natural nails now, so no harm, no foul. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's round of Weekly Mannies. Again, let me know what you're wearing this week in the comments. I love to hear your guys' favorite polishes for the week. So thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.